to find now. Are you feeling right now? Hello guys, channel to our welcome. Uh, hello channel, welcome to my guy. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Please always wear face wash and use hand sanitizer because Corona disease is a very, very dangerous city and always keep social distinguish. Romeo, save me! Please like, share and subscribe my video guys! Hey guys, it's Rahi here and today I'm going to tell you on how you can make a gojo style thumbnail on blur so let's get started so first you will need to make a project after making a project you will need to select your pictures as you can see i'm going to make this thumbnail right here so let's get started i'm just going to make this transparent and now for this part i'm going to cut out this image after cutting out this image what you will need to do is um, just let me make this transparent what you will need to do is um select um just place your image where it needs to be yeah like this so now i'm just going to add shadows just copy what i'm doing and you will need to select light glow yes now what you'll need to do is um make this visible and group the last two images and then enter them now what you are going to do is add the 3d um hall effect on gojo's thumbnails so what you are going to do now is um select a shape make it black then select transform and resize it and move this right here then duplicate and then move it right here now what you need to do is go to this picture select feather max it out copy paste and zoom in a bit so it is clear as you can see it's looking pretty clean just going to move this a little bit here or not yeah that's fine now what you need what you will need to do is go to main and then click effects and add the effect oc for the 3d hall effect now what i'm going to do is go back to the um, group here and then double uh, duplicate the shape and make it um, pink so it matches the thumbnail just going to resize it and and make it a border or kind of a border and then duplicate bring it at front and then make another border then I'm going to add a deep glow effect so it looks clean as you can see it's looking pretty nice now what i'm going to do is go to generate and add the effect half tone dots now what i'm going to do is increase the blend 
to this and I'm going to add blur Gaussian blur let increase the values a bit and yeah and then light glow is optionary but I recommend it now for the background saber effect right here what I'm going to do is add a little saber right here you can select anything you want I'm just going to select mine oops yeah it looks pretty clean I'm just going to add this eye overlay right here go to light add this overlay right over here as you can see um, it's looking pretty close to the um, thumbnail we have here I'm just going to make it a little bit better go to effects and add vignette vignette and add zoom blur it is optional but I recommend it let's copy what I'm doing now what you'll need to do is add the text I'm just going to add it behind the character as it's seen right here going to add the first letter it's R I'm not going to make it um, different colors per text you can do that by um, doing multiple um, texts right here by duplicating like this but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do it all at once because this video is already too long it's going to add you say select VCR or what you call it I don't care um, just add an OC effect right here oops that's too much and yeah it looks like this I'm just going to make it yellow You can also add shadows but i'm just going not going to do this this video so yeah that's how you make a really nice thumbnail thanks for watching and have a nice day see ya